Okay, I'm going to carry on now. Uh, excuse my squeaky shoes. I've got some lovely insoles in. They're lovely and comfy, but they make a bit of a noise. So I'll try and be light on my feet here. Okay, so I'm just just sort of finished off this a bit really. I've made it a bit more pink in there. And I've been using my um, colour shaper to just do things like this, just to soften it all out. And then you can sweep through the white and it will just separate those white hairs up a bit. It gets, it gets rid of that um, kind of grainy look if you don't like that. I don't mind it personally, but um, I think probably many people would be expecting it to be a bit more polished than that um, so it just depends what you like but that's what the colour shaper is for and I also went over with the uh, the lovely sort of mid blue 151 and I just did some little hairs I can see there's a little tiny tiny dark hairs in there and I've just popped those in just like that after I did the uh, smoothing and some hair, there's a hair going right up there, just like that. I'm going to darken this up a bit, just sort of make that a little bit darker there, smudge it in a bit. Um, I need to make this white a bit more fluffy here, uh, so it's kind of a bit more fluffy, fluffy looking. Yeah, you see there's a line there. And then this side, um, again, you know, we've got some tiny little hairs in there. Um, I've put a bit of dark blue in there rather than just have it black because I can see that it is looking quite bluey in there. Um, so if you want very fine lines, you just kind of touch the paper really. You don't do much with it at all. Just sort of very, very, you can see it's a little bit dark in there. looking at this area there it's quite dark so as I said before it it looks nothing like the other ear but don't worry about that it'll all look good in the end soften that up and I'm just gonna just gonna kind of soften it in a bit back in there I think and then get rid of the white hairs see how thin you can get them if you just touch it just nothing really I've gone over the edge there a bit but I think that's good don't worry about that you do tend to go a bit AWOL but pencil up a bit and then break off and mix it up. So we've got that white bit there. Just remove that. And you see you can measure that by looking where it comes onto that grey bit at the back there. There's the grey bit at the back there. It's still got that line in there. This definition then. Um, this is this is already black here. I, I think I've done that one. It's a bit 
difficult to see on this. I'm just going to put a bit of glue in there as well. Just hardly doing anything with it. And then it's a bit darker. And just a little bit of blue in there as well. Over here. So yeah, we spent quite a bit of time on the ears, but um you know they are they are important the look of your animal they are going to give it the characteristic there okay i'm going to try and get in a bit of um the white areas here and then we're going to go over it with the yellow and make it nice and creamy maybe a bit of orange in there Little white hairs in there. Yeah, and that's right, that's that's coming up a little bit higher than that. Just measuring here where that white patch comes across there is the other side of the ear there. Just about here. If you go up in a straight line, you'll be able to measure it from the ear. This tiny bit, just you know, this about here. There, so that's that area there. I've got that in. Then I'm gonna bring that round because this is all quite light here. This is black. See, that's very black. So we're gonna fill all this in. Now, can you see I'm looking at the direction of the hairs here? They're kind of going up slightly out and then they just come around like that. So I'm just going to copy that. That bit is coming in a line like that. That little patch of white there is coming there. It's kind of coming from that streak there really, isn't it? And you can you can draw these lines on they'll they'll disappear but that gives it nice a little patch there and you can see there's a little it's a very slight it's a very nice curve this area here and just before this starts we've got a little patch a darker patch there i'll pop that in and that goes down like that and again i'm measuring on this this eye here, like that, and then this is all very light, but it's not white, so you can just sort of go over it a bit, just put some white in, that's okay there, and then here we've got a lovely bit, um, that's going up there like that, then this bit comes here, like that, that, bits in the corner look lovely don't they and there he is down like that and then this you can see it's all the hairs are all coming this way in this direction right right to there so they're coming like that now this black line here it's really really thin see really really thin but we've got this line right here so we can bring this white in a bit here very very close up and then we can get our black line over that and it'll look really good yeah. see how that looks 
a bit darker in there, but you can see the, the main line of that. I've got to be careful here because this, yeah, this is coming like that. You know, if you've got a point there. up to here and it's kind of going this line down there and then it shoots off up here and you know just fill it in you can put some white hairs in at the end on the top but just just look at the lines here just look at the shape you've already got your guide in in the trace down paper it's already there and you've got another little uh, lighter patch there but it's not really white it's kind of gingery and apparently the hair is coming up here again that you know that they can go in after this is this bit here is kind of like that softening it all over. With this paper the white lines stay and the rest of the white will just sort of fill in the paper a bit. Just to give you that guide. Then you've got um, yeah, you've got a, so you've got a line coming through here but it's that, that direction and then it's kind of going up there. Kind of goes up a little bit higher, see? Again, you've got an angle like that. All the time we're looking at these um, really important markers. So you would do, you know, you are doing your own animal. You'll want these just dead on. If you're just doing it to make a nice picture, you really don't have to worry about all this. But I want to show you how to be able to do a really good pet portrait. Um, and get get it looking like the animal. Which is also which is a, like a bluey grey here because you've got the light on it. Let's go up slightly. Like so, down like that. If, you, if it's not, um, just make sure this is the right bit. This bit here. in with that. So you just work across like that really. Then you've got another piece here which is again just like a little angle. Now be careful with this bit because this is lower than this and it'd be so easy to get that too high and that needs to be lower. It's only a little bit lower than this but it's a lot lower than this. bit like doing the puzzle really it's um very therapeutic and the concentration is just a little bit higher a tiny bit higher than that not much uh, but it's, it's really good for your concentration it's really good for your brain i find on these so you've got a little gap there now, I've gone a bit wrong there, you see, because I've gone a bit too mad with this bit. It's too too much. Um, so let's.
let's just go back to this area here and you can see it is it's a, it's a tiny but because our markings are there we can we can get them in and they're more on this side of it they're not they're not really a kind of going straight down there they kind of like that now that's not really white but the next bit is a light a lot lighter so let's just put that in like that so yeah we've done this now we're doing this let's come around like that below the eye point there. Yeah. Now, we've got two lines there. This is very light. Fill that in. Then we've got the other line, which is his nose line. It's a bit lower than that. It is like that kind of thing, really. So I'm just going to put it in like that. It's quite narrow at the bottom. See that that line there? It's like just like that. So yeah, you're just looking at the angles the whole time. Um, like I say, it's very, very good for concentration. It's very um, relaxing to do bit like a, doing a puzzle really. on here is uh, yeah just just the like that just this tiny and then we've got a line coming down like that and let's go across like that down below there now it's level with the bottom of his ear little and do the fluffy kind of baby colour and then that is then going now this this is um I can find my ruler I can show you how I measure something it's very useful I can find my ruler at the moment. The thing is I'm not, not actually at home at the moment. I'm at my mum's and um, had to transfer everything I thought I would need and I was, I was sure I had a ruler here. It's probably around somewhere. Um, but what I would do is I would measure this. Um, this top bit here, you can measure it with pencil actually, but as long as you think you've got your pencil level, you can actually use the line if it, if pencil's long enough, look, get a long one to show you. If pencil's long enough, you can me measure your straight line on the edge of the line of the pi picture, then bring it up to the top of that right hand, top of his head, and you can see that it's almost in line with, yeah, that looks straight, with that bit there where it 
starts, it starts cur just curving upwards. So that's what I would do. I would just look at that and say, okay, is that line there? Is that point there? Straight across. Straight across like that. And you can see that, yeah, it's just, it's just going to curve. Not too high, and it's quite dark. So I'm only just putting it in very lightly. That is dark back there. Looking like a cat. Looking like a good cat. That goes down. Yeah. So that's that line there, and that's going to be in here. the line of his ear there. It's coming down a bit straighter actually there now. You can see that. It's got some fixed to it there. Then yeah. So then we have our next patch here, which is already marked out here, look. Um, it's, uh, it's quite dark to there. Now look and see, this is where the black line ends. This is part of the, the what we're doing now, this white line round his eye is actually part of this. And this is why doing it in white is so easy because you've got the exact um, thickness of the black above his eye. It's already there now. That's the best way to do it, I think. Otherwise, they can get too thick, too thin. You have to keep redoing them. And um, before you know it, then you've lost the eye. And, you know, you pretty well have to start doing it again. see that is again try to keep the pencil straight if you can get that's showing just a tiny tip of his eye where that white part there starts that's that's kind of what I do to measure so I know that that's going to be shown there this white line inside here that's part of his eye so yeah that that will start that little patch there will be there and that'll be dead on then dead on right and then this line comes up here like that and up you can see these hairs are going up now here Now, 
Look at this space here. That, that needs a little line up there. And uh, yeah, look at that. That's then straight, but bring slightly up. Then look at this patch here. Is it the same kind of size as this? We're looking at this now. So this has got to be a bit squared off at the top. And then it's kind of rounded like that. Yep, so I think that's pretty good actually. It comes up off of it like that. So yeah, we're looking at this, that kind of patch there. We're looking at this kind of patch here. So we've got this is around here like this, so have a look at this, I know it's not right, but this is going to be gingery on the edge, so we're just putting that in much lighter. So we've got all the outlines there, nice white lines and across there. So yeah, that's pretty well mapped in now for us to start colouring this in. We'll put some um, you know, I'm going to, because I'm going to put other colours in there and then go over it again with white, I just want to fill the paper a little, just to give it a base, so that when we put on, um, the, you know, to get this kind of colour, it's this, look, 101, 102, 102 is that yellow, the lemon yellow, to glaze over it, and it makes it creamy, uh, so it makes it that colour there, we're going to be doing it that colour first. And then we might use a bit of the um, uh, 186 in there, uh, just to bring in a bit of that orangey, orangey colour. Is it this one, I think? Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to use those two in this kind of little patch here. So we've worked out our colours already. This didn't take a minute to do, but it, it's nice to have there, I think. You know, you just think, oh yeah, we'll, we'll keep to those colours. And you kind of use those colours, you're going to use those colours overall um, as we go. Okay, so I'm just going to rub that in just to bring a bit into the, into the other bits of paper left. And then when we put the stuff on, it won't be too stark. Even though these are put nice and dark, the white really just disappears under the dark. Anyway, I'm going to stop now, just make sure I've got everything in place on the um, camera. I've had a bit of a job today getting it all set up. Character building, huh? <laughs> Very character building, I'll tell you that. <laughs>